Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we are given that if n is a positive integer and x is any non-zero real number, then we then we have to prove that c0 plus c1 into x by 2 plus c2 into x square by 3 and so on up till cn into x power n plus 1 is equal to this. Okay. Fine. I'm going to go step by step and slow way and I'll explain you the logic also. So please stay with me. Okay. Until then. Fine. First, take this LS, sum on LHS. Take this as S. Okay. This entire thing. This entire thing, take it as S. So S equal to C0 plus C1 into X by 2 plus C2 into X square by 3 and so on. Okay. This is what I do. Now, you see, C0 is actually a short form for writing NC0. Okay, C0 is nothing but NC0. Likewise, C1 is nothing but NC1. Okay, so I just did that in the next step you will see. So NC0 plus NC1 into x by 2 plus NC2 into x square by 3 and so on. It's there. Fine. Okay, chalo. Now next, what I'm going to do is, see carefully. If you'll observe what they are asking us to prove. In the RHS denominator, there is n plus 1 into x. In the RHS denominator, there is n plus 1 into x. So first, what I'm going to do is, in the LHS, I'm going to multiply first with x, then with n plus 1. See, why you will understand later. Okay, so that you, first I multiplied with x, both sides. Now what will happen? See, here I'd get xs is equal to, nc0 was just alone. Now x will get multiplied to each term. So nc0 into x I'd get. Now here already 1x is there, I mean x by 2 is there, nc1 into x by 2 into x means x into x is x square, so I'd get x square by 2. You see each term got multiplied by x, that's what I did. Likewise here I'd get x square into x which is x cube by 3, here also x cube, x cube into x which is nothing but x power 4 by 4 and x power n into x is x power n plus 1 by n, x, okay. I hope this step is clear, I'm going slow, fine. I just multiplied each term with n plus 1. I'm sorry, which I, with x. Next, if you see in the LHS here, I have n plus 1. I have n plus 1. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides with n plus 1. In the LHS, I want n plus 1. So to do that, I'm just multiplying both sides with n plus 1. Fine. I'm telling you, you don't have to mug it up. Okay, first I have to do with x, next with n. No, I'm telling you the logic. In the RHS denominator, it's there. So that's why we are doing Okay, you will understand why and what slowly. So each term gets multiplied by n plus 1. So you see n plus 1 xs is nothing but n plus 1 into nc0 into x, n plus 1 into nc1 into x square by 2 and so on. It's very simple, right? Each term in this, in this step, each term got multiplied by n plus 1. Pretty simple, right? Shallow. Now up till here, I hope everything is okay. Now next, what I'm going to do is see. Listen to me carefully. Here you see, I have x square by 2. What do I have? Here I have x square by 2, okay? So, this by 2, I am going to take it here. See, let me explain. Consider this term. Consider this term. n plus 1 into nc1 into x square by 2. This by 2 is there, right? This by 2, I am taking it here. So, this I can write it as n plus 1 by 2 into nc1 into x square. So, what I did is, I just took this x square by 2 in that 1 by 2, I took it here. n plus 1 by 2. It became. Likewise, this 1 by 3, I will send it here, n plus 1 by 3. Likewise, this 1 by 4, it would go here, n plus 1 by 4. Likewise, this n by 1, I mean 1 by n plus 1. This would go here, 1 by n plus 1, n plus 1 by n plus 1. Okay, that's what you're going to see in the next step. As I mentioned, and and see, this n plus 1 I'm writing as n plus 1 by 1. That is totally okay. Why? Because I'm trying to construct a pattern here. Listen to me carefully. Carefully, I'm trying to get a pattern. Okay. So, as I mentioned, by 2 came here. x square by 2 was there. Now, by 2 came here, n plus 1 by 2. Here, by 3. Here, by 4. Here n plus 1 by 1 I got, fine. Now, now, listen carefully, this is a very important step. This is a very important step. In binomial theorem, 
there is a formula kind of thing you can remember it what is that is don't see this step don't see this just see the form just see this n plus 1 by r plus 1 into ncr is nothing but n plus 1 see r plus 1 I'm going to go slow here. Listen to me. Understand it. Don't mug up. See. N plus 1 by R plus 1 into N C R is nothing but N plus 1 C R plus 1. Now, how is this formula relevant to this step? Apply this formula in this step. In this step, apply it. Now, see. Consider the first term. Consider the first term. N plus 1 by 1. into nc0 into x this x is not needed x you don't have to bother okay otherwise i'll just put it NC. now just consider this much n plus 1 by 1 into nc0 you see what does that formula say this formula says that whenever we have a pattern like this n plus 1 by r plus 1 into nc now see here n is n in place of r in place of r, I have 0 here. So, my r is 0. Now, this one I can write it as n plus 1 by 0 plus 1 into nc0 into x. So, you see, now this is perfectly matching my pattern. You see, n plus 1 by r plus 1 into nc. See, n plus 1 by r plus 1 into nc. Here, in place of r, I have 0. That's the only thing. So, it's matching. So, in place of this term, in place of this n plus 1 into nc0 i'd get n plus 1 c1 as per this n plus 1 c r plus 1 that means n plus 1 c0 plus 1 that means n plus 1 c1 okay now let's consider one more term i'll i'll tell you three terms so that you guys won't get confused now let's consider this n plus 1 by 2 into nc1 okay n plus 1 this i can write it as uh, n plus 1 by 1 plus 1 into nc1. Now it's again matching c. n plus 1 by r plus 1. n plus 1 by 1 plus 1. Here r is 1. Here r is 1. Here. Okay. So I'd get n plus 1 c r plus 1. That means this I'd get. n plus 1 c r plus 1 means n plus 1 c2. x square is there as it is. Likewise, here I'd get n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 into nc2. So I'd get n plus 1 c3. Okay, in case you feel, oh my gosh, this is a bit tough. I am not able to make it. Pretty simple. You can mug it up also. How? I don't like it, but I'm telling you, see. If you can get up till this step right, this step you can get right. Okay. Uh, till this step, let's say you got right. Hmm? Now, you see here n plus 1 by 1 is there. So just write n plus 1 c1. <laughs> just eliminate this. I'm telling you a technique to remember. Here you n plus 1 by 2, so n plus 1 c2, n plus 1 by 3, n plus 1 c3, that's all. A technique to remember, okay? Fine. Next, next. Now, you see, now if you see, this is like a pattern. This is like a pattern. n plus 1 c1 x, n plus 2 c2 x square, n plus 1 c3 x cube, n plus 1 c, n plus 1 x power, n plus 1. So there is a pattern. There is one term that is missing, that is n plus 1 c0, n plus 1 c0. Okay, so if you see, if there is a pattern n plus 1 c1 x power 1, n plus 1 c2 x power 2, n plus 1 c3 x power 3. So there is a pattern. So my term that is missing is, the missing term is n plus 1 c0 x power 0. x power 0 is 1, so my only term that is missing is n plus 1 c0. So add, I just wrote it. So n plus 1 c0, oh, there is a print, I mean, this is actually c0, n plus 1 c0 into x power 0. Sorry for this mistake. So, what I did is I added n plus 1 c0 in the beginning and then I subtracted n plus 1 c0 into x power 0 in the end. Okay. Now, if you see all these terms, the sum of all this, the sum of all this. Okay, one more thing I forgot. Guys, see, in between there is dot, dot, dot. This means that there are a lot of terms in between. Okay. Fine. So, please don't forget this dot, dot, dot at every step. Next. Now, this entire thing, like this pattern, n plus 1 c0 x power 0, n plus 1 c1 x power 1, n plus 1 c2 x power 1. This entire thing is nothing but in the red bracket which I put, 
that is 1 plus x whole power n plus 1. That is 1 plus x whole power x n plus 1. Okay. Expect you to remember this. I don't want to explain why that is that. We can learn the story. If you need help, I will try some other time. In comment box, you can come. Fine. So, this n plus 1 into x, uh, n plus 1 x so is nothing but 1 plus x whole power n plus 1 minus 1. This here I would get c, this last term, just analyze this last term. n plus 1 c naught into x power 0, x power 0 is 1. And also n plus 1 c naught is also 1, n plus 1 c naught is also 1. Why again, if you want help, come in the comments box, okay. So we are almost done. So this is nothing but 1. So 1 into 1 is 1. So I would get this entire bracket, the entire bracket thing is 1 plus x whole power n plus 1 and minus 1 I get. Fine. Now send this n plus 1 into x to the RHS. That's it. S is what they had asked. You see, this is why I told you the logic. First I multiplied with x, then I multiplied with n plus 1. Then I did, uh, I did some changes so that I could get a pattern. Then I applied the formula so that I could get my actual pattern and then I added and subtracted n plus 1 c naught into x power 0. So ultimately I got this. Fine. I hope I went with logic and also pattern. I mean, I hope I could explain you in a logical way. Still, if you have any doubts, uh, please come in the comments box. Okay. There's one thing I wanted to tell you guys is, please don't take too much stress about your studies. See, put in effort. I do not say to not put effort. I mean, please put in effort. But after putting in the best of our effort, let's say you studied a lot and you wrote exam. It's fine, right? You put in effort and you give the exam. That is the best you could do. Please try to accept yourself. Okay? This is my sincere suggestion. Don't put unrealistic expectations on yourself that I want to get. Uh, don't put unrealistic expectations. Like let's say you are getting 40 marks in pre-finals, 40 out of 75. Don't think that you could, you want to get 75 out of 75, you know, finals. Why unnecessarily put pressure on yourself? You could try for 50 or something more, but go step by step and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Okay, fine. So put in effort and do your best. Okay, result, learn to accept it. Fine. Thank you. In case you like this video, please hit the like button. And please do subscribe to my channel if this is your first time. Thank you.